Let's make a llama ornament. Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today I'm excited to announce I'm working with some other bloggers and YouTubers. One is Angie with The Country Sheet Cottage, Carolina with 30 Minute Crafts, Carissa with Creative Green Living, Jessica with Madden Crafts, and Yolanda with All Crafts Channel. And all those llama ornaments are gonna be down in the link below. So click on the description, click on that link, go to my blog, and you will get all the links and everything that you need in one place. We'll also be having all the videos there as well. We are going to be making the Santa Sobrero Llama Ornament today, and I'm going to be working with one that I purchased at Old World Market or World Market, and um, you can make one. Um, you can crochet one. Actually, um, Yolanda, down on the link below, um, she has a crocheted llama that's going to be naked. Oh! <laughs> and then this one is one that I found that has all these embellishments, and we're going to be covering up these embellishments, taking off the saddle and some other things, and making a poncho and sombrero. See the little teaser picture right there? You're gonna need uh, some yarn. I'm using a nice fuzzy yarn. This is a bulky five weight Bernat Pipsqueak, color whitey white. I need a little bit of yarn or cording so we have a new hanger. So this one's Bernat Handicrafter Holidays Red Sparkle or you can use the white sparkle. You're also gonna need your felt. This is just a standard nine by 12 sheet of red felt. I've got a round measuring tape. The round can be used to cut out one of our circles but at least you need a measuring tape. Need some sharp scissors, maybe Maybe a pen or um, marking chalk to um, mark where you're going to cut and a glue gun is important and go ahead and protect your surface with the protector there. I can't wait to show you. Let's grab our supplies and begin. We're going to start by making our poncho. I love this. It's really fun and just a quick way to cover up your llama. So if you don't want the sombrero, let's just do the poncho first. All right, so we've got our uh, sheet here. This is a little sneak peek of what it's going to look like. This is kind of my test one, so pay no attention. And we've got our felt. Go ahead and measure out six inches and mark it. So six inches, and then I'm gonna come down kind of toward the end here in six inches, and I'm gonna go up four inches from here. So measure upward four inches. If you have a straight, um, if you have a straight marker or cutter, um, that's fine too. I'm just trying to do it with basic supplies so that you don't feel um, like you have to go out and buy um, any kind of straight line cutter or anything. The cuts on this are going to be hidden because we're gonna glue on these accents. And so if you don't cut in a great straight line, have no fear. Okay, so I'm gonna go, let's see, up from here, measure to the four, put a little dot, and now kind of got my corner worked out right here. All right, so as you can see, I have measured over from one corner uh, six inches here, and then I've measured up four inches. So I'm gonna put one right on the end here, and then I went all the way over, and I've just placed a couple of strategic dots and then one in the corner, and so now I know where my cuts are. So I'm just using two of the pre-cut uh, pre edges there. So I'm just gonna cut all the way down Okay, and then we're going to um, fold this in half and um, go ahead and make a cut right here, okay? And then that is where um, this the slit is going to appear. We're gonna measure up two inches from this slit here, make a dot like that, and then cut towards that dot. Okay, so this is going to be the neck of your poncho. You see that? And so now we're gonna take these the little flaps that we just created, and we're going to pin it back. And instead of pinning it, we're just gonna put a little dab of glue. So you can put a little dab of glue on the back of that little corner there, and then tack it down. And I like to leave this kind of fluffy, sticking up like that. And uh, hold that until it's nice and glued, and then repeat on the next corner. Okay, we wanna take our yarn here, go ahead and start 
uh, gluing this edge all the way around. So just start in one corner and work your way around. And I just put on like an inch at a time. And I could cut this string off, this one here. So I'm just going right up to the edge. Okay, and then turn it and repeat it on all these edges here. Continue along and I'll show you the uh, folded area. Coming along to the folded area, and I'm going to go up on this side here. And once I know that that's nice and cooled down, uh, I want to go ahead and just uh, put my trim on the top of this folded area. And uh, so it's easier to do the gluing uh, after you folded this down because if you um, do it before the flaps are down, um, your edging uh, will be hidden behind everything. And you could just add it right on top if you need to. Okay, so just glue this area here and let your trim fall on top of that. And just repeat throughout until you get to the end over here. Okay, on the home stretch here, just glue that last portion. Okay, and once you've got that, just go ahead and cut off your yarn here. Okay, so now you've got your little coat here, your poncho. So we're going to close it up after we finish uh, the llama. We have to get our llama ready. Let's go ahead and make the sombrero now. All right, to make the sombrero, we're going to need, of course, our measuring tape out again and scissors and all the same supplies and your yarn off to the side. I'm showing you what I'll be making. We're going to be making a three inch circle and a two inch circle uh, approximately. And um, this is what we're going to end up doing. We'll make a circle and cut a hole in the middle cut that out and then we're going to make another circle and cut a little slit right here. So let's do that now. Uh, let's make the bigger three inch circle. Um, this is, you actually don't need very much um, more of your, um, of your sheet. So you're just going to be using this remaining part here. So you'll have this nice big part and people who like to conserve supplies will appreciate that. <laughs> so um, I want to measure um, up to about uh, where this line sort of would be and then to the three, go three three inches and down and then kind of move it down just a little bit um, we'll cut within that area so mark where the three hits and mark where an inch and a half hits and then mark where the zero hits okay so right where um, we're, we're moving towards making a three inch circle here and all these little dots will not be seen in your project now take it and um, let the inch and a half hit where that middle dot is and just rotate it a full 90 degrees and we will be um, uh, marking it again at the zero and the three okay so now we've got kind of an X shape and uh, if it's hard to see mine you can at least see where I'm placing those dots and now we're gonna pivot again and make it at a 45 from there and mark it so basically we're keep we're making it to where we can um, see where this um, the circle will be and then we can kind of follow along connecting the dots with our scissors and there's of course different ways to do it I am just trying to make this as easy as possible with the least amount of supplies
Okay, so now that we've made our circle here, this will get cut out, and then we're going to be cutting out a, um, a circle in the middle. So you can go ahead and start measuring that middle one. It's uh, a three-quarter inch uh, width across, and if you measure to three-eighths, which you see the little, um, these little tick marks, so this is one, two, three, you want to measure that to the middle part, and then go over to the, um, the quarter, uh, three-quarters inch, and the um, three-eighths will be your midpoint, so the zero is the beginning and the three-quarters is the end. And you put a dot and then do the same thing that you did before to make this little um, circle on the inside. And this is going to be the middle of our sombrero. It's going to be a little hole we cut. Okay, so I've got my um, my circle in the middle and then I've got this other one. Now I'm going to move down here before I make any cuts and I'm going to put my round tape measure here. You can do this with uh, measuring for two inches or you can just use your tape measure and I just go and place several dots around it and we're just going to cut. It's going to be a light, slightly bigger than two inches but this makes a really quick little circle. So if you can see where I put all my dots and now I could just get my scissors out and easily cut a circle. All right, so go ahead and cut around your major circles. Uh, pause your video as you need, and I'll meet you in a moment. See you soon. All right, so I have my two circles here, and on my smaller circle, it's about two inches. I'm just going to find the center point and put a little dot on it. And the first one is real easy. We're just going to take our scissors and snip a line on the radius there, which is basically from the outside into that dot, and then stop. So we're done uh, prepping this circle. The larger circle, you made a little um, drawing in the middle with the little dots, and you just want to clip somewhere in there and cut out this middle portion. So clip around your circles. If you've already done that, you're, you're ahead. <laughs> So um, make this one as nice as you can. You can also, um, this will this will be seen, but if it's messed up, which I might, um, either you live with it or you <laughs> put an embellishment there. <laughs> uh, not a design, it's a design feature. Okay, so um, mine, you can see the little dots and I can just turn that over and then this part will be seen from the top. Now, for your sombrero, if you have marking pins or anything you wanna do with felt that you know will work or um, paint or any kind of embellishment, go ahead and make your little design now. That's actually, a, this is a good time to do it because you could put on a nice flat surface and um, make it em embellished. Now, uh, after you've done that, um, you're going to want to put on your um, your middle of your hat and uh, let that part dry, and then we'll add on the accent. Okay, so I'm just going to take this circle here with a slit cut out, and we're going to make a cone shape. So we're going to take our um, take our felt uh, where this flap is and just twist it and roll it. Okay, so we we'll just keep rolling around. All right, until we have a nice cone shape. All right, and then you're just gonna want to take your glue and try not to get it too close to the edge here, but uh, take your glue, put it in, and make sure that it's gonna be um, enough, and then close that flap down. Okay, and say I made it to where the glue is not showing through. And so to make sure that this, um, this is holding, and then once you know that it's uh, nice and dry, um, you can actually kind of push this part down and make a little divot there. Because we don't want to, we don't want a witch hat. We don't want like a tall pointy hat. We just kind of round the top here, and you know, like a a cowboy hat or sombrero hat kind of has a little bit of a divot on it. So just push that down a little bit, however you like it. And then we're going to put this in um, on the inside of our hat. So I'm going to flip it over where I have all my little markings. And then just push it right up in there and don't let it pop through that hole and then look at that so it hangs on just like that and so um, what you want to do is pull back your brim 
and then add in some uh, add in some glue here so that this will hold okay so we're just gonna pull this back try and be real conservative on my glue here right up to the edge put that on I'm just doing half of it right now and then let it cool down and dry and this one's more important for you not to do it while it's loose so make sure that the half of it that you do first is nice and cooled um, dry if you will for a glue gun make sure that that is holding and then you pull back the next side and do it again I think it's easier to do it a portion at a time All right, see my dots aren't even showing. The only thing I'm seeing is just a little bit of glue leaking through. All right, when I turn it over, then I can see if I wanna add any embellishments, okay? So you can add a nice trim piece here. You can still decorate that top a little bit. Make sure this is nice and cooled. Mine isn't quite cooled yet. And then um, get your um, yarn out and you'll start adding on the trim. So make sure I've got and put down my protection I didn't do that before all right well I'm working with a small thing I definitely need some protection for my surface behind all right so just start uh, adding on the trim and pause your video and I'll meet you back when you're ready see you soon All right, now that my sombrero is ready, I'm just gonna clip this edge piece here and set it aside to let it dry and let's work on uh, prepping our llama. All right, now if you have a naked llama, you don't have to worry about this. I know, I said naked llama. Type naked llama in the comments if you love that. <laughs> if you have a naked llama that you don't need to cut these saddles off of, then don't worry about it, but I'm gonna prep mine. So I'm just gonna clip some of these uh, strategic yarns and that saddle is removed. Now, because the saddle was stitched on, it had the hanger on it. This hanger is about four inch drop, so you need about eight inches. Uh, I'm gonna make a hanger with um, about 15 inches here. So what it is is it's eight inches plus the, um, the circumference around the belly of the llama. This one's about five and a half or six, so I just made a 15 inch. It's, it's probably more like 13 and a half or 14. I just made a 15 inch cut of the cording I want to use. And I'm going to um, go around this llama and I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to tie it and um, make a knot around its belly rather than try to glue it in. And then that way I know it's not going anywhere. <laughs> and then I could tie it up at the top. Now, if you don't want a knot at the top, you can also make a separate loop and then tie it down here and then it will be, uh, will be hidden. So uh, I'm just gonna tie this up here and you could add a little pom-pom at the top, whatever you wanna do. Okay. All right, so I've made mine. And then I've got my little hanger here ready. And then I wanna go ahead and clip off this little thing. And it already had jingle bells on it, which is kind of a fun bonus. And you could thread those on uh, uh, onto, your, um, uh, onto your hanger, or you could thread them on again to another cording. And that's just complete whatever you wanna do. And then mine has these little guys up here on the ears and they're coming off easily or just uh, cut it. So the ears are gonna get hidden unless you wanna cut uh, a little slit in your sombrero for them to be used at the top. So the last thing that we need to do is uh, add our sombrero, which gets glued on, and then we put on our, um, we're gonna put on our poncho. And so we need to uh, allow the hanger to come through the poncho, right? So we want to um, take this and kind of feel where where that is and then just add a little bitty hole here. So it's going to be about right here. I'm gonna fold this in half and then take my scissors and cut a little hole. 
and then I could just thread that on through. I'm going to use a tapestry needle. Sorry, let me just pull this on through the tapestry needle. All right, so now I've got my um, poncho in here, and then I want to cover it up by um, folding down the flap first here, and then I'm going to fold the other one over it, and we're just going to put a dab of glue. So just put a line here. I'm going to dab along this whole line here, and then hold it and press it. And then it makes this little collared poncho. Isn't that cute? And then this one already has some trim little gold hoofs here, which is fun. So if yours doesn't have one, it's kind of a fun little embellishment with some gold cording or whatnot or silver. And it's almost ready. So this is what it would look like if you just left a poncho. And then now is here is our finished <laughs> sombrero hat. This is the piece de resistance. All right, so now what I want to do is glue it onto the llama's head and, um, sorry, no real llamas were, were harmed in this video. Um, I want to do something fun where you can, now you can glue it right on, but I want to put on a little tie cord here. So I'm going to put the sombrero on and kind of estimate where his, um, the back of his head is kind of behind where the ears are and go ahead and put little slits in here. So I've got a little bitty slit for a cording, and I've got a nine inch cording here, and then I'm gonna put another little slit right here. And you don't have to do this. Okay, and then just pop this cording through. I just tied a knot on the end. This one has a little uh, silver uh, embellishment on here, so a little silver thread. So um, I wanna keep that all together. All right, so it's got a little pull area in the back, and then we'll just put this on his head, or her head. All right, so it's on the head, and then that part will come to the back of the neck here and get tied on, but I wanna make sure that this part stays down. So I'm gonna put some glue in here and stick that down, hold it, and let it set up. All right, now that our hat is set up, I'm gonna tie this on, and before I do, I'm gonna add on these two little jingle bells, and this is where I'm gonna reuse them. And I'm just gonna glue them on. I don't think I need to um, put them on with any kind of thread, it's fine. So this'll be fun. And then when you're ready, just tie the sombrero on the front. And you have got a cute Santa sombrero <laughs> ornament <laughs> llama. <laughs> it's so cute. You could even like pin it back if you want to like this. <laughs> and then I add on some little extra embellishments if you like. Well, I hope you enjoy making your Santa sombrero llama ornament today. And I really hope that you check out those other bloggers and YouTubers. So click on the link down below to enjoy those. If you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button and give us a comment down below. And uh, tell us what videos you'd like to see more on crafting and also knitting, loom knitting, and crochet. I hope you have a great day and happy crafting. Bye-bye.